New this morning, we do have some good news to start off your Monday. A Hillsborough High School student is in the running to earn a national title for her poetry. But as News Channel 5's Cole Johnson shows us, she is much more than a poet. So tell us all about her, Cole. Hey, good morning, guys. So Alora Young has got to be one of the most impressive teenagers I've really ever met. In addition to her poetry, she tells me she's been in a movie, done two TED Talks, runs a nonprofit, and is also student body president. But we're talking about her poetry today because she's actually in the running for a national title, and she'll be finding out in just a few days. Hi, uh, my name is Alora, and I am relentlessly optimistic. This is 17-year-old Alora Young. The silence downtown rings out like tornado sirens. A teenager who carries a lot of titles, like student, performer, and activist. And then what is your current title? I am the Youth Poet Laureate of the Southern United States. It's not my tomorrow I'm fighting for. It's my daughter's. But soon that title may change as she's in the running to be the National Youth Poet Laureate, a title previously held from a young woman named Amanda Gorman, who recently became the youngest known inaugural poet. Mr. President, Dr. Biden. It's like seeing her do it, it was like this is no longer just an idea in my head or a moment in time, this is a movement. But she says it's not about the title, it's about the art. For Alora, her writing began early on. My mom says I first told her I wanted to be a songwriter when I was two years old. Um, I don't know how a two-year-old know that. Her first poem came a few years later when she first moved to Tennessee. And the passion for songs and poetry clearly grew from there. Because I got in this so early, I have a lot of time to try and make this world a better place before there are more black girls who have to experience what we've experienced. Alora says she's come from a talented line of speakers and artists who never got to share their gifts with the world. I feel like it is my duty to use all of their blessings to make the world better. And so it is a weight, but it's not a burden. Laura says she'll find out if she gets that National Youth Poet Laureate title on May 20th. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Cole Johnson, News Channel 5.